subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. These are voltaic cells that we normally use. Classify the cells into rechargeable and non-rechargeable cells. Drag and drop the cells into the correct boxes. Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Let's find out more about these batteries. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to compare and contrast the advantages and disadvantages of various voltaic cells. A few basic components are found in all voltaic cells, regardless whether it is rechargeable or non-rechargeable. A pair of terminals and an electrolyte. Electrochemical reaction occurs in cells and produces electrons that move from the negative terminal to the positive. Some of these reactions are reversible, while some are not. Cells with reversible chemical reactions can be recharged and reused over and over again. These cells are known as rechargeable cells. Those cells with irreversible chemical reactions have to be disposed of once all its chemicals are used up. They are known as the non-rechargeable cells. Modern voltaic cells use a variety of chemicals. The actual metals and electrolytes used produce very specific reactions, giving each cell its special characteristics. Now, let us see the reactions that occur in the rechargeable cells. This is a cross-section of a 12-volt car battery. The car battery is also known as lead-acid accumulator. Click at the car battery to get a closer look. What are used as terminals? What is the electrolyte? Click Start to see the reaction in the cell. Observe what happens at the terminals and the change in the electrolyte. How does this change affect the concentration of the electrolyte? How does one know when a car battery needs to be recharged? Now, click Recharge button to see the recharging process. You can click the Rewind button again to view the reactions involved in the car battery. How are the terminals connected to the charger? Observe the reactions at the terminals. Is there any change in the concentration of the electrolyte? Record your observations in the worksheet prepared. Now, let us look at the cross-section of a nickel-cadmium cell. Click at the cell to get a closer look. What are used as terminals? What is the electrolyte? Click Start button to see the reaction in this cell when it is being used to produce electric current. Observe the reactions at the terminals. Is there any change in the electrolyte concentration?
When the cell is being recharged, the reactions at the terminals are reversed. Predict what will happen. Write down the equations for the reactions. Record your observations in the worksheet given. Now, let's do some activity to see the reactions that occur in non-rechargeable Voltec cells. You can see a cross-section of a Daniel cell. Do you know what are used as the terminals and what are used as electrolytes? Click at the cell to get a closer look. Observe what happens at the terminals and the change in the electrolyte. How does this change affect the concentration of the electrolyte? What is the evidence that there is a change in the electrolyte concentration? Write down your observations in the worksheet. Now, we continue with a cross-section of dry cell. Why this cell is called the dry cell? Where is the negative terminal located? Click at the cell to see what happens in the cell. Observe what happens at the terminals and the change in the electrolyte. What happens to the outer casing after the cell has been in use for some time? Record your observations in the worksheet provided. Alkaline cell. Do you know where the negative terminal for alkaline cell is located? In what way is the structure different from the dry cell? Click at the cell to see what happens in the cell. Observe what happens at the terminals. Will the outer casing corrode after the cell has been in use for some time? Record your observations in the worksheet provided. Now, look at a cross-section of a mercury cell. When the cell is producing current, the negative terminal loses electron and form a cation. The cation, in turn, attracts hydroxide ions from the electrolyte and forms a metal hydroxide. Write down a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. At the positive terminal, the mercury-2 oxides accept two electrons and reacts with water to form mercury and hydroxide ions. Write the complete balanced chemical equation for this reaction. Record your observations in the worksheet provided. Do you know why this happens? There are many different types of voltaic cells in the market. Each type of cell has special characteristics making it suitable only for certain applications. Form 5 to 6 small groups and each group concentrate on a particular cell. Read up about that cell, 
discuss about its advantages and disadvantages. Exchange information with other groups and then construct a table comparing the advantages and disadvantages of all the Voltec cells. Submit your answer to your teacher by the next lesson. You can click on the printer icon to print out the handout. It is required for you to print only one handout for one group. In this lesson, you have learned that There are two types of Voltaic cells The rechargeable cells and the non-rechargeable cells Rechargeable cells are cells with reversible chemical reactions They can be used over and over again Examples of rechargeable cells are Lead acid accumulator and nickel cadmium cell Non-rechargeable cells are cells with irreversible chemical reactions. They have to be disposed of once the chemicals are used up. Examples of non-rechargeable cells are Daniel cell, dry cell, alkaline cell and mercury cell. The advantages of rechargeable cells are They can be used over and over again and they produce constant voltages. The disadvantages are Fast self-discharge and the lead acid accumulator needs regular checking and maintenance, while nickel-cadmium cell produces toxic waste. Advantages of non-rechargeable cells include They are small in size and convenient because they can be just used and thrown away, and all these cells produce regular current except Danielle cell. The disadvantages are Danielle cell spills easily. All these cells cannot be recharged and reused. The mercury cell produces mercury, which is toxic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.